The Racing Sports Network presents to you live here at the Florida International Speedway for the Florida 500 NASCAR edition. As you can see, we have nine cars in today's race, along with three. Three of the drivers represent Jackson Storm, Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, and six other competitors in NASCAR themed in the Disney movie cars. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup of today's race. Row 1, you have Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez. Behind them, Lightning McQueen and Danny Suarez take row 2. Chase Race a lot and newcomer Eric Amarolling. Row 3, you got Gogo Logano, another newcomer, and Ryan Inside Laney now in the number 12. And don't forget, Bubba Wheelhouse rounds out the, the grid. Let's take a look at the race info. So there are 7 laps around this track, 9 cars, and on pole is obviously Jackson Storm. Now we're in for a good showdown here today as the pace car now pulls off of pit road. As you can see, Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez lead the field as we are now underway for the start of the Florida 500. Jackson Storm leads up the turns one and two, getting down the back straightaway, but Cruz Ramirez and Lane McQueen follow behind Jackson Storm. As we take a look at Danny Swerve has fourth place. Looks like we have a battle now as Chase as Eric Hammer rolling passes Chase Race a lot. And it seems as though Chase Race a lot is slowing down a little bit. They enter lap three and Chase Race a lot spins out, coming out of turn two. Ooh, that's gonna be a big that's not gonna be good for him. As we have our first caution of the day at lap three is seven. And we're gonna take a look at the instant replay here to see what has happened and happened. So as you can see, Chase Racer is starting to fall back, and it looks like as though he might have popped a tire and just spun out. Luckily, it was only just him spinning out, and no other cars were involved in the wreck. But then, that is a tough break for Chase Racer as he'll restart dead last as we're on lap 4 of 7, as we now restart on lap 5, as Jackson Storm is still the leader of this race, much to the crowd's displeasure. As we take a look at our in-race report, Chase Race a lot is now currently last. He's now gotten four tires and fuel, but he'll have to start dead last. Eric Amar rolling has a strong car. He's got a strong engine and looking for you better look out for the top three drivers, which is Jackson Storm, Cruz Ramirez, and Lightning McQueen, as we now enter with just three laps left to go. This could be one exciting showdown. Maybe Eric Amar rolling might pull out the upset between the top three that you see right here. As right now, Storm and Cruz Ramirez kick us off with a restart. Single file up front, and looks like Eric Amar rolling has taken over fourth place. We got a three wide battle on the back, and we have single file with just two laps left to go. As they exit out of turn two, and Cruz Ramirez and Landon McQueen gives Cruz Ramirez that push as she now takes the lead ahead of Jackson Storm as we now enter the final lap of today's race. Oh no! Oh, caution has come out. A huge a wreck has took out Jackson. I mean, Jackson Storm just trying to take out Cruz Ramirez. As you can see, Jackson Storm is hanging up on the wall. I mean, just, well, we got to take a look at the replay here. I mean, what has happened today on this, that brought out this last caution. So we can take a seat. Storm just drove down, but didn't see Lightning McQueen, and which caused him to get turned up over the wall as Cruz Ramirez hits the wall, which allowed McQueen to pass through. But I mean, I don't know what Jackson Storm was thinking, but whatever it did, it blew his chances of victory on this final lap. Lap. And as for Cruz Ramirez, she manages to hold her place. Well, held up. Not much, a lot of damage, but still, it caused her the victory as well. But as the cars come back under caution, Lightning McQueen crosses the line first as he is your winner of today's 4 to 500s NASCAR edition. Yeah, clever than that. I mean, I expected a good battle to the finish, but not something like this to happen. So as you can see, Lightning McQueen has today's winner after a surprising twist at the end of that race. I mean, he held his ground up pretty good. Good, as you can see him celebrating in victory lanes with the championship trophy with his best friend, Mater. Now let's take a look at the race results here. So as Knight McQueen takes the first position, Eric I'm rolling a strong day today in second, Danny Suarez in third, Jackson Storm is still hanging on, but it doesn't really matter though as he finishes dead last in the race 
Cruz Ramirez ends up coming home fourth, and Chase Racelad recovers to sixth place. And that is all we have time for today on the Racing Sports Network here at the Florida International Speedway. Thanks for tuning in, folks.